often graveyards can have a spooky atmosphere and a feeling of grief. However, some graveyards hold something much more sinister. Let's take a look at three of the most haunted graveyards in the United Kingdom. The old Halking graveyard is notoriously known for being haunted. The churchyard was once home to the old St Mary's Church in 1745, but was later demolished. The only remains are the old graveyard that was once attached to the church. The new church lies just a hundred yards away. Paranormal sightings include strange lights often seen floating up in the trees. The ghost of a man is often seen. Some believe he was a pirate who hung himself in the graveyard. People have often reported hearing a dog barking in the graveyard. Upon visiting this location myself, I do recall hearing the sound of a dog barking and a male voice. We cannot say if this was paranormal or not. What do you think? People often describe a heavy and dark atmosphere in the graveyard and often report seeing shadows amongst the walls. I can say from personal experience that once you step through the gate, there is an ominous feeling, a far cry from the typical peaceful feeling you would expect to get from a graveyard. Why not take a midnight stroll at Halkin's old graveyard and see what you may encounter here? Highgate Cemetery was built in 1839 and was part of the Magnificent Seven. This was a plan to provide seven large cemeteries around London due to the increasing demands of burials. Many famous people are buried here and the cemetery is often frequented with visitors. The Legend of the Highgate Vampire In March 1969, there was many reports of a tall black apparition stalking the graves of Highgate Cemetery. The apparition was later known as the Highgate Vampire. A witness described seeing the vampire and it was said he became dizzy and in a trance-like state. Not long after this, two teenage girls reported seeing spirits rising from the graves. An elderly woman walking her dog claimed to have seen the tall dark man with red glaring <laughs> eyes. This led to a massive vampire hunt in 1970 on Friday the 13th. This involved a group of vampire hunters, a psychic and police-led ghost team. Some may argue that Greyfriars Kirkyard is the most haunted graveyard in the world. The graveyard is built on the site of a monastery. It was later passed on to Mary Queen of Scots, who granted it for the use of a burial ground in 1602. The Circle of Death The vaults are said to have a spooky and sinister atmosphere. Visitors often end up with unexplained bruises and scratches after entering what is known as the Circle of Death. George Mackenzie, also known as the Mackenzie Poltergeist. George is believed to rest in a mausoleum on the grounds. Mackenzie, the Lord Advocate of Scotland in 1679, was said to be responsible for the torture and death of hundreds of people due to their faith. He soon gained the nickname of Bloody Mackenzie. His ghost is believed to be very aggressive and often attacks visitors. 
A homeless man in 1998 broke into the mausoleum of the Mackenzie family and stumbled across the coffins. The homeless man fell through the floor and finds himself surrounded by bones in a burial pit. The Mackenzie ghost now haunts the grounds. Visitors often experience having their hair pulled or their limbs being grabbed forcefully. One woman was found unconscious with bruises around her neck. Dead animals are often found near the mausoleum and knocking noises are often heard coming from inside the mausoleum. Would you feel brave enough to walk near the resting place of George Mackenzie? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed these top three haunted graveyards. Let me know if you have ever been brave enough to visit in the comments below or if you know of any other haunted graveyards in the United Kingdom. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next story. Bye for now.